Good evening all. Uh, we are running out of time rather uh, day. But uh, thanks to Itama staff members and their team for organizing so well. Uh, the program has gone really excellently well. Uh, the structures and uh, the way uh, it was nice and uh, really happy for that. And uh, really the momentum is really nicely going on for a textile industry. Two years back, uh, it was very shabby, not doing well, and uh, more important, the finance-wise uh, textile industry was not in a profitable mode. But since after Corona, uh, there is a major uh, you know, swift. All industry is doing well financially, uh, getting good margins, profit uh, coming up. And so manufacturers also, uh, much orders are coming up. And most of the manufacturers, they have been booked for almost two years' time now. And there are a few manufacturers, even internationally also, they are stopped taking orders. That's the kind of situation going on. It's a win-win situation. Textile industry is still doing well. So it's from academic to everywhere, the momentum is going and uh, extremely doing well. And same, why I am mentioning these things, even for the waste also. People are giving more important to the kind of uh, handling of waste. So much focus is given and since the profit margin gone up and uh, similarly waste prices also gone up. So everybody looking how to use those waste, convert into the uh, again wearable or much value added uh, products. So we have been working uh, perfect for last 15 years on this recycling of a textile waste area. And we are enjoying that momentum also now. There is a good response coming up. Our some of ex installations, four, five years back installed, extremely doing well. They are all going for expansion. So since time is very limited, technical sessions, 10 minutes is very difficult to cover. But still, I will try to complete within uh, 15 minutes maximum. So Sagvi, sir, you must allow. <laughs> So, uh, zero discharge, that's a concept now going uh, in any industry. So, more you save your whatever waste coming out in any forms, so that is a saving. So, textile also, a lot of uh, waste generation from the ginning onwards. Ginning also generates some of the waste, so people are working on that also, how to utilize those waste. Like spinning, weaving, processing, garments, even after wearing also, post-consumed waste also generation is very high. And fashion is changing now. Fabric changes are very high. Dresses, no. We people are uh, very soon now changing. That trend also coming up. So there also post-consumed waste generation is too high. So uh, perfect. We are working much on that area also. Lot of machinery is developed and extremely doing well and uh, it's available. 
As I said, raw material is very expensive. Two years back, the price, whatever there, see, now if you see, it has doubled almost. And particularly last six, eight months, the price rise is very high, raw material cost. Particularly cotton and even uh, synthetic uh, materials also going up. So equally, correspondingly, waste value also going up. And since yarn is cotton, everything is traded as on commodity, so that also inflation is there. Always price uh, competitive, we need to change. So control on waste or raw material is very important. In textile, nothing is waste. It's those, every waste is, can be used again for any other form, any other purpose. So we must try how we can utilize that waste to convert into a good form or reusable purpose. Now just I am uh, putting stage-wise uh, the generation of uh, textile waste. In the spinning area, from cotton to uh, cotton or synthetic fibers, conversion for yarn formations, these are the area where uh, waste generations are there. These are some uh, technical uh, machinery names. Blue room is a one process where uh, the form of dropping we are getting the waste. Almost depends on trash level, 5 to 10 percent uh, waste are getting extracted from the blue room. And even in the carding area also, 4 percent, 4 to 6 percent uh, waste are generated. In the card itself, uh, there are uh, card flat also waste coming up, comber, pneumophil waste in the ring frame uh, stage that is coming, and hard waste yarn in the winding stage. And when it comes to the uh, preparatory weaving or uh, even on the loom stage also, there are yarn waste generated in the form of warp and leftover warp, catch card uh, on the weaving. So these are the areas uh, where waste in textile uh, for conversions uh, generated, even in the fabric. Non one also one of the process where uh, fabric woven without weaving. So every non one process at the edge, uh, trims are getting cut to have a very narrow, straight uh, uh, cut. For that, 40 to 50 mm of the trims are getting removed at the both uh, edges. So that also we can handle, open, and again reuse for making the non one uh, fabric again. Now, user garments. These also uh, highly generated dump like anything as a landfill also people are looking to uh, fill uh, now used fabric so that also can be opened and reused converted into the fabric these are some images for uh, just an idea blue room having trash highly trash it is uh, getting generated and contamination remover is very uh, low quantity so that is sorted out again used as it is without processing Carding, again, uh, there are generation. Combing, noil, it is used for surgical cotton purpose also and for again yarn formations also uh, being used, but no need of any treatment or cleaning purpose, so we can use directly. Pneumophil waste again uh, from the ring frame stage while yarn making, there also uh, it can be used without processing. Then bobbin, uh, winding while making the cone formations, uh, 0.5 to 1%, depends on kind of technology used, waste or generated. There is a rowing waste that also last layer, no? uh, generally uh, on the ciders, ring frame stage. Uh, workers, they remove uh, layers of uh, rowings. So that also can be opened and again used for the yarn formation. Even texturizing uh, area, texturization wherever going on. So some, some lot, it is uh, getting uh, uh, removed as a waste while in process. So that can also be again opened. These are images for the uh, weaving area. You can see residual yarn waste on the uh, warping machine. Uh, there are huge quantity coming out, uh, generated as a waste. It's unavoidable, though technology available out, uh, to avoid those waste also, but still uh, generations are there. And on the warp also, weaving, these are the area images. And uh, since technology is going up, we need high and high speed of weaving, so there are always bound to generations of catch cord on the edges of both warp. These are pre post-consumed and pre-consumed waste, while automated cutting for garment making, uh, the generations of waste is unavoidable. Now coming to the, uh, these are some data uh, for cotton waste. 
Spinning of yarn, there are uh, two types of technology used. One is ring process, another one is open end process. So in the ring spinning process, there are uh, four types of waste generated, blue room dropping, liquor in dropping, flat waste, and comber oil. Flat waste and comber oil directly can be used without any processing. But blue room dropping and liquor in dropping, it has very high trash level, 18 to 22%. So that can be dropped down to 6 to 7%. So that that waste again can be uh, cleaned cotton, required cotton can be used for yarn formation. Coming to the open end spinning uh, process, blue room and liquor dropping has very high trash levels, 38 to 44% trash levels, so that also can be cleaned. Now we, uh, uh, from perfect lines given as per according to the availability of the waste, line configured as per the uh, following uh, lines, what kind of waste uh, being used, quantity of waste processed, recyc uh, whether the bale feeding is done in the loose form or bale form, according to that, uh, we uh, define lines. This is the image of uh, cotton waste recycling line. So this line is mean for recovering good amount of lint fibers for reuse. This is a series of uh, machines. Uh, of course, we are running out of time. I cannot go much in detail about uh, each machine. But this is most proven line. The purpose of this line is recover good length of good fibers with retaining the quality. Whatever, uh, say there are certain quality parameters like length and naps without rupture. This line ensures whatever feeding length is retained and the waste in the feeding materials reduced to almost 65 to 75 per percent. So who can use this cotton waste recycling uh, lines? Like there are large mills having one lakh spindles and one and a half, two lakh spindles and making yarns of per day, 40 to 60 tons uh, of yarn. So for them, the waste available itself there and they can clean the, those cottons and use for open end spinning purpose. So it is always advisable. The mills which are having one lakh spindles should have open end process also, so that whatever incoming cotton getting converted into yarn, only trashy materials and wedge seed uh, materials are going out of uh, mill. That means zero discharge almost. Even for surgical cotton also, the line use of this line is a must. Before bleaching, we have to uh, ensure the trash level in the cotton of below two per two percent the image of uh, recycling line. We have uh, one installation in India, proud to say it is fully automated. Almost per hour, 400 to 500 kgs of material waste. It is feeding directly to the line without manual handling. With cotton, when it is on loose form, keeping on the back and handling those things become very tedious. You need to engage minimum 18 to 20 hands in per hour at given time. So that has been eliminated with a fully automated uh, line. So I enter 400 to 500 kgs of material coming to this line automatically, getting clean and bailed also without manual lending. Now that bale again fed to the regular virgin cotton. So that's how uh, automated line also, we supplied a few installation apart from manual feeding lights also. The another one area as we saw uh, waste in different form, one is in cotton, uh, trashy cotton area, another one is yarn form that is generated from spinning itself also and weaving area also. So for that also we are having uh, lines, hard waste uh, fabric opening line. In this line, both yarn and fabric, whether it is in the knitting uh, osiri or woven fabric, both form can also be opened. How we designed this line keeping in mind, as I said, length is one factor. From the cotton which we clean, require good cotton the length has to be retained. Our line ensured no ret uh, red reduction of length. Similarly, in this hard waste opening line also, just for example, say Sankarsik cotton, most available, 40% uh, available cotton in India is Sankarsik variety. The length of average of uh, Sankarsik cotton is around 29-30 mm. But we could able to generate again fiber from yarn up to 24 mm. That means reduction of only 5 mm. 
so of, of course in addition to that apart from just going for the use of these opened the regenerated material to the low end product like uh, home textiles or curtains you know low end uh, like industrial fabric our uh, focus is for converting these material into the wearable fabric also so gtex sir what gtex gtex yes 5% reduction but not much <laughs> yeah so this is the another version we are having uh, we can uh, supply the line in uh, higher quantity or lower quantity also depends on the kind of uh, quantity output required so we design machinery so these are some final details actually i wanted to go uh, very interesting you know recycling itself you know within the machine itself material is again and again recycled uh, this is the machine uh, principles of working just few uh, you can have a look so uh, every you know large scale uh, companies those who are generating high uh, quantity of material yarn or fabric for them available of waste also very high they must go without any hesitation these are images of our line and now a more interesting part for uh, yarn and fabric opening uh, perfect has developed uh, a special card that is called uh, 1275 bsd this with this card uh, as i said the products the waste can also go again into the wearable uh, wearable purpose you know uh, that means value addition of waste this is not a regular card you can see just highlighted uh, the area after liquorin there is one roller called breeze roller on that there are 15 uh, stationary flat provider so this uh, area makes the fiber more aligned well prepared for carding the purpose of this card is see when we try to open the unopenable high, highly finer counts or high dense fabrics unopened yarn and contents are very high in the opened material so the spinner generally reject that spinner always want low end uh, lower end uh, no with low uh, unopened yarn and uh, fibers apart from opened fibers so this card when we uh, process regenerated fiber after opening from the line if you feed the material through this uh, card the output web will almost not having any yarn ends length also retained so one of our customer almost 5 years back uh, they gone and of course they expanded also they use 100% waste and 100% waste fr from that uh, they produce yarn this is the side view of uh, that card uh, this is for uh, trim opening for non woven uh, you know side uh, cut trims thanks to atmanirbhar of course one of major corporate they came to us so we are uh, really want to uh, go uh, like the atmanirbhar concept with that they uh, given confidence on that on us and given order and we fulfill that this is for uh, cotton spunnel is opening because almost every hour uh, 150 to 200 uh, kg is getting generated from the uh, imported uh, non woven cotton spunnel is line so that trim is automatically collected and opened again reused this is uh, that uh, machine's actual view and this image show rowing openers and the beauty of this machine here we can uh, open left over last layer uh, bobbins also along with loose uh, uh, rowings also and uh, perfect company uh, we adopt all latest uh, generation uh, machineries uh, having uh, all imported uh, complete machining machines uh, and even we are having cmo machineries also for checking uh, the precision of whatever manufactured items so setup is uh, fully modernist and uh, it deliver european standard or american standard machineries there won't be any difference and uh, we are the only supplier in entire asia fully automated core grinding machines apart from us there is two more player uh, player from uh, europe and we are the third but our machines uh, deliver performance wise almost doubler capacity and there are around uh, seven patents for also international patent patents on google patent you, if you just type uh, 
perfect, you will find uh, that thing. So as such, uh, working uh, hard in uh, our focus perfect for is uh, matching with the performance of uh, highly standard missionaries, no compromise on that. So there was a long struggle uh, for almost uh, 10 years so in entering into the recycling area. And this recycling area in India, why it has not come up so much, the major reason was mainly unaffordability. Some years back, of course, we were knowing waste available, it can be enhanced, value added, but it was, uh, the missionaries were not available in India, unaffordable. But we are there now uh, to give service, to supply missionary, so value addition can be done and uh, we are working further uh, so much for how better and how best we can value add the material. Thanks for listening uh, and thanks for ITAM also once again. They worked hard, uh, nicely arranged this. And of course, the live recording is uh, so nice. Later on, we can use that uh, recorded uh, video also for promotional purpose. Though there are very few, uh, you know, delegates or visitors, but still, it was nice. Thanks for listening uh, patiently. Thanks for uh, Chairman. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Shankar. I think this was, uh, this is a topic of interest for many of us. And uh, this is going to become more and more important uh, as we develop our textile industry. So I think this is a great choice made by Perfect uh, 10 years ago when nobody was really focusing on this topic. And I'm sure that uh, you all will do well in this area. Thank you once again. Uh, we now have as our next uh, speaker, Dr. B. Vinod, Head of Robotics and Automation Engineering, PSG College of Technology. And he's going to talk about welding, engineering, and technology. And he's online and I think ready to join us. So uh, welcome, Dr. Vinod, and over to you. <laughs> 